Hello and welcome. Uh, in this video I'll be explaining how to use these nodes. Um, these nodes are made for use, as you can probably tell by the name, for UDIMs. Um, as of the time of recording of this video, Blender does not support UDIMs, um, and the current version is Blender 2.8 beta, uh, so I made these until we get real support. So uh, let's first talk about this big node right here. So each one of these big nodes represents one row, as you can tell from this text over here. And what I mean by that is, if you look at this UDIM grid that I made, uh, this is one row. This goes from uh, 1001 to 1010, that's one row. There's another row and another row. Um, and each one of these color inputs represents one column. So if you want to use, let's say, um, I know for a fact that I have a, a UDIM on this one. So this is row two, column three. So we should get a green color where that UDIM is. And there we have it. Now this node also displays checkers wherever there isn't any UDIMs on that row, as you can see here. Um, and here is red, that's the second UDIM, and blue, that's the first UDIM. And there you go. Now this other node is a mask node, so it generates a mask for the UDIM tile that you put here. So let's input that UDIM tile that we saw before. So it was 1023 and if we preview it, there we go. We have a, a white mask where that tile is and a black everywhere else. Now the reason why this is here is because this uses basically 10 instances of these and mixes the textures based on these masks. And that's how I um, created this node. Um, all right, and now to show you how to set up the UDIMs, um, let's go to edit mode and there. So what, I, what you'd have to do is download this UDIM grid uh, I mean, I'm probably going to include it in the file anyway, so you don't have to worry about that. Open this UDIM grid, um, position your islands where you want on the tiles, so treat one of these squares as an entire UV grid. And basically, uh, treat this as the UDIM grid that we don't have. And then, after you're done, position your cursor, your 2D cursor, this thing I'm moving around right now, to 0, 0. So the easiest way to do this is to press N and then just type 0 for the 2D cursor location. Then go over here, change the pivot to the 2D cursor, and then press S, 10. So you're basically scaling by 10. That means every one of these small boxes is going to cover a whole UDIM tile, or yeah, it's, the first one's going to cover the UV, the usual UV that we have, and the rest are going to look like they're going to be floating in space, but don't worry about that, um, that's just how UDIMs are. Now, uh, the way you use these big nodes, big UDIMs, big UDIM nodes, is basically what you see here. So what I'm doing here is just scaling this UDIM grid by 0.1, which is like the opposite of 10. Uh, to, just to like preview the number of UDIMs on each side. Um, and if we preview this node, for example, you'll see that all of these four faces, one, two, uh, four, and ten. One, two, four, and ten are being previewed. 
and everything else is checkers. Uh, then I got it another instance of that node, set it to row 1, which is this row, and um, I connected this same texture, but you would have to use a separate texture um, based on your UDIM number to this column for this row. So it's uh, for this um, uh, UDIM tile. Uh, and it's right here, the top one. And then I'm mixing them, mixing the first one and the second and I'm using the mask of the second one as the factor. So, there you go. And then I did it again for the second row. Or, yeah, row number two starts at zero. And, uh, it's right here. And there you go. That's how you use it. Um, so, uh, I hope this is useful to you. Uh, if anything doesn't work, uh, just like say something in the comments or send me an email or something, and uh, we'll see how we can fix it.